Today we're in the enormous Mondi paper mill to see how they make paper that is used to make cardboard boxes. The raw materials used to make the paper mainly come from the fibers from eucalyptus trees and pine trees, which are grown in the Mondi tree plantations. These plantations or tree farms are sustainably managed, ensuring that planting, growing and harvesting of trees is done responsibly. The harvested timber is brought into the plant on railway cars and on huge trucks. The trees used in paper products are farmed in a sustainable and environmentally friendly manner. Around 10% of a plantation is harvested each year and replaced with new trees. The wood and wood chip storage yard is vast and is able to store large volumes of wood to meet the mill's continuous operational requirement. Special forklift machines are used to handle the logs and move them from the stockpile to the chipping lines. This system moves hundreds of logs along a conveyor to the chipping machines each hour. As the logs enter the chipping machines, they are chipped with enormous force, turning the tree trunk into a mass of chips in a matter of seconds. Operations are controlled by computers in the control room, which regulate the amount of material that passes through the chipping machines. The wood chips are transported to a huge pile by conveyors that are set up in the storage area. The wood chips are taken to a digester machine where they are cooked using caustic soda and steam to remove the lignin. Lignin binds the fibers of a tree together, sort of like a glue, and gives it its strength. Once the lignin has been removed, only the cellulose fibers are left, and these will be used to produce fiberboard. The fibers are mixed with water and are sprayed in pulp form onto a wire mesh. The pulp is sprayed from several nozzles inside this head box to cover the entire width of the wire mesh, which produces a fiber sheet that is five meters wide. As the sheet passes along the machine, the water in the pulp is drawn through the holes in the wire mesh to fall into a container below. A mat of fibers is left on the belt. The water is recovered cleaned and used many times in an effort to produce an environmentally friendly product. When the machine has removed the required moisture content, the fiber sheet is drawn off the mesh belt and passes into a drying tunnel. Here steam heated rollers dry the sheet as it passes along at high speed. Tests are constantly done to ensure that the strength, thickness and moisture content is perfect at each stage. At the end of the drying tunnel, the five meter wide sheet emerges. It passes through a series of roller cutters to slice it to the correct width and guillotine machines to cut it to the correct length. The bales of fiber sheets are compressed to make them easier to transport and they are bound with wire to make them easier to handle. When a fiber sheet is put into water, it will break up into millions of tiny fibers and change back into pulp form. Bales of fiber are used by Mondi or sold to other companies for their paper and paperboard recipes. It's now time to use the pulp to make the paper that will be used to make paper packaging, with one side being white to enable printing and the other side brown. This pulp is sprayed onto the wire belt of a paper making machine. Once again, the spray nozzles are located in the head box and water is drawn off at the bottom of the machine. All water is captured and reused in the different factory processes. The fiber mat that forms on the wire will become liner board that is used to produce cardboard boxes for the fruit industry. The sheet passes through the drying process. This is the same process of drying the paper using heated rollers and pressure that we've just seen in a huge drying tunnel. As it comes out of the machine, the sheet of paper is completely dry and is rolled onto formers to create the huge jumbo reel of paperboard. The jumbo reel is very large and difficult to handle and so it's slit into narrower sheets to produce smaller rolls of paper 
that are easier to handle. Paper production in South Africa is a complex and fascinating process. It's also sustainable with new trees being planted all the time to provide the wood fiber for making of pulp, paper and packaging products. The cardboard boxes can also be collected after use for recycling into new cardboard products. If you liked this video, please send a link to your friends and family and let us know in the comments section below.